Okay, in today's video, we are going to calculate the amount of work done by a force on an object. In this case, we have a sled. We have our nice blue sled here. And it is being moved through the snow a distance of 50 meters by a horizontal force of 125 newtons. So we want to know how much work do you do when you apply a force of 125 newtons through a distance of 50 meters. And there's no friction in this case. So we have our sled. We're going to draw the force. It does say horizontal, very important. So we draw it horizontal, 125 newtons, then applied force is the force you apply. The object is moving 50 meters. And we're going to assume it's moving across a horizontal surface. And that's 50 meters. And let's just remind ourselves of the definition of work, it's the product of the magnitude of the displacement, which is simply the distance and the component of the force that is parallel to the displacement. Now you'll notice in this case that the force and the displacement are parallel to each other. That means that all of the force is parallel to the displacement. Okay, so this problem is relatively straightforward. It's just the force and the distance, and we get this equation from our definition. The equation for work is that the force times distance times the cosine of theta. Well, what is theta? Theta is the angle between the force and the displacement. Now, you can see in this case, the force and the displacement are parallel to each other. And not only are they parallel to each other, but they're in the same direction. And that's very important. You can see when I bring them closer together, the dis displacement and the force, the angle between the force and the displacement is zero. Theta is the angle between the force and the displacement. That means that theta is equal to zero degrees, and the cosine of zero degrees is plus one. Okay, now there will be cases when the cosine of the angle could be minus one, so I just put in here for emphasis, and the cosine of zero degrees is plus one, and you may remember that from your cosine curve if you've done a little trigonometry, where you can simply put that in your calculator. Cosine zero degrees should be one. Now, just plug everything in, 125 newtons, 50 meters, cosine of zero degrees, multiply those through. Remember, the cosine of zero degrees is one, so it's just 125 times 50 times one, and when you apply a force of 125 newtons, in the horizontal direction, and the object moves 50 meters, you do 6,250 joules of work. Okay, so that was relatively straightforward. The only thing I just want to say for emphasis, remember in this case, the force and the displacement were in the same direction, and that means that all of the force is applied parallel to the displacement. Okay, so that's pretty easy. Watch the next example when the force is not going to be parallel to the displacement. That is going to be really interesting, so don't miss it. Click on the link right here. Watch the next example when the force is applied above the horizon. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you found that helpful, give me a thumbs up or a nice comment in the comment section below. And yes, that's right. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.